What's happening guys? Keith here with your Bound for Glory 2018 preview and predictions video. So we are two days away from Bound for Glory. We had the go home show to Bound for Glory for last night. You can check out my review by clicking the link at the top of the screen. So we have seven, I guess eight matches. I don't know if Ali versus Soo Young is going to be some sort of segment or a match. It doesn't seem very clear what they're going to do here it seems like a lot of websites have them pegged in as a match however impact really didn't make it seem like it was going to be a full-on match um so i'm interested to see what they do with it somebody made a reference to they'll do something similar to the upside down world from stranger things um i believe that's what it was called uh but that would be cool if they did something like that um but yeah we will see so first, I think the way to open the show will be with the tag team match of Matt Seidel and Ethan Page versus Rich Swan and Willie Mack. Um, I think Rich Swan and Willie Mack are going to take this one. Um, this is going to be Willie's debut. I don't think they're going to have him lose in his debut match. Uh, probably get something between the two down the line. I don't think this whole thing versus Swan and Seidel is over yet. I'm sure we'll get a blow-off match later on, but Swan and Seidel is... Swan and Seidel. Swan and Willie Mack is my pick. Uh, up next, I have listed the Eli Drake Open Challenge. Now, this is only open to people from New York, and everybody was speculating that it will be Chris Jericho, as he is from New York. However, I don't think that will be the case. It will probably be... Tommy Dreamer, or someone like that. Maybe Killer Cross, as I said on my Impact review. He is also from New York, and he was left off the card, so it would make sense to have him a part of the show, but I'm going to go with Tommy Dreamer. I think that makes sense. He has been around the company for a while, so there's that. Uh, the six-man tag, OVE versus Brian Cage, Pentagon, and Phoenix. I'm not really sure where they're going to go with this. I mean, on paper, Brian Cage and the Lucha Brothers are so much, I guess, stronger that it seems like it would be an easy easy win for them. Um, this is an OVE rules match. I'm not exactly sure what that entails, but I'm sure it will benefit OVE, since it should anyway. Um, I wonder if we will get some new members maybe debuting for OVE, something like that, and play the numbers game, and that's how they would pick up the victory. Um, I feel like OV does need that win. Uh, we saw Sammy Callahan losing effort against Pentagon Jr. at Slammiversary. Uh, the Chris brothers really haven't do done anything of note recently as far as winning goes. I mean, Brian Cage is the X Division champion, however, and Pentagon and Phoenix are both highly regarded wrestlers. So this is going to be a tough choice. Um, I... I it's hard to really bet against Brian Cage, Pentagon, and Phoenix, so I'm going to go with them, but at the same time, man, I'm just, I'm stuck on this one. You know what? I think OVE is going to pull it out, and we are going to get a feud after this between either Pentagon and Phoenix, maybe we'll get that brother versus, versus brother feud, maybe we'll get Brian Cage versus Pentagon. Um... I just feel like it's got to go somewhere with this. Uh, we don't really have anybody that's um, coming up in the X Division that would be, I guess, a good challenger for Brian Cage. I think having any of these three men in a feud would be very good. Uh, leaving OVE, I don't know what they're going to do next. Uh, Callahan's obviously going to have to have a, a decent opponent. Um, not too many faces here. I would assume probably if Johnny Impact does not pick up that world championship that he could go on to face Sammy Callahan. I think they would have a pretty good feud. Um, that would leave the Chris brothers. I feel like Impact may go the route again of them in LAX. I don't know. Different regime last time when it was done. So it's 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 interesting to think what's going to come afterward. It's like everybody speculated after Slammiversary and the feuds kind of stayed the same a little bit. They really uh, dragged some of them out like we had uh, Brian, not Brian Cage, uh, Pentagon and uh, Sammy Callahan, which lasted a while into this show. And Phoenix and Brian Cage are there for the ride. So I, I'm actually going to go with OVE. I think that is my final choice. I, I think they're going to somehow pull it out, either it being them with numbers game, adding new members, or 
we have a turn on the other side or some sort of miscommunication that leads to something between one of those three men. Uh, so up next, our first title match. There is only two title matches on the card. Uh, the Knockouts Championship with Tessa Blanchard defending against Taya Valkyrie. Um, a lot of people were not, I guess, too fond of this match happening just because there was nothing built on it. I think everybody expects it to be a good match, or at least a good handful of people expect it to be a good match. I know there are a lot of people that don't enjoy Taya's work. I think she's decent in the ring. I think these two will put on a, a good match. Um, however, I think Tessa will retain her title. Um, I don't see Taya picking it up after a lackluster feud like this has been to build to the match. This isn't the end of it. This is, I think, just the beginning. I think Tessa picks up the win, um, maybe maybe a cheap win, so to speak, just to continue the feud. This way we'll actually get a feud between the two of them um, since what we got was no actual face-to-face -face interaction. It was Taya on the Tron maybe once or twice, and that was it. So... Tough bills here to this match, but I don't see Tessa dropping the title yet. Eddie Edwards versus Moose. Um, a grudge match. Moose is going to pick this one up. I, I think Moose needs a big pay-per-view win, especially after losing last pay-per-view and aligning himself with Austin Aries. Uh, I feel like he, he needs that big victory, but... I don't think this is over as well. I know they taped a street fight between the two of them, I believe, at the one night only, BCW's 25th anniversary. Um, so, yeah, I, I think I'm going with Moose. I, I think that's should be a good pick. I mean, it's, it's tough to say. Edwards could win it as well, but I'm feeling confident with Moose here. So, LAX versus the OGs in a concrete death match. No, I guess there's not going to be any padding in the ring and no turnbuckle covers. So this is probably going to be a pretty violent match. Um, the OGs have kind of been trying to get LAX to break the seize fire throughout the entire feud since the in the Mexico tapings. Uh, so I think LAX is going to uh, pick up this one. They've been cool, calm, and collected, and I think this is their opportunity to win it. Put the OGs away once and for all. Once and for all. Once and for all. Um, I don't know what their role is going to be afterward. King, I would assume, would probably be staying in something else. I don't know if they're going to use him as a wrestler or manager. I, I wouldn't. I don't know if Homicide and Hernandez are going to stick around. Um, LAX are the tag team champions. So, again, they don't really have many tag teams built up. So, who they would go on to face next is a mystery. I mean, we saw the Desi Hit Squad kind of split up. I mean, we have KM and Fala Ba, but they're a pretty big face act. I don't see the two of these two teams going after each other. Um, that's why I could see them doing OVE and LAX again, to be completely honest, unless they uh, put something together or I'm missing somebody. That's possible as well. Um, yeah, LAX, they're going to pick it up. No reason they shouldn't. Uh, and then we have the world title match, Austin Aries versus Johnny Impact. Here's a match I am also on the fence about. I was pretty gung-ho about Johnny Impact winning the championship. However, uh, I'm not 100% I'm not sold on it yet. I feel like or Aries is still doing a hell of a job as champion, and uh, him holding the title and maybe putting it up against a bigger opponent I mean, if Johnny doesn't pick up the title, this is where I could see Chris Jericho debuting if he was to come in and we get that Chris Jericho versus Austin Aries match. I think Aries did call himself the best in the world or something to that nature um, recently. I forget exactly what he called himself, but it was something that Chris Jericho has called himself um, in the past. So if he doesn't show up, I still think Johnny Impact is going to pick up this championship. He's got good publicity being on survivor and you know just being a name that people do know um but i guess i'm gonna go with johnny impact because there's still a chance that chris jericho doesn't show up um i i think he would make a good face champion i really think moose was a placeholder for the face until johnny came back where they made this feud something so I guess we'll go with Johnny Impact. So I'm not very confident in many of these picks. 
Most of them could go either way, but we will see. Uh, Sunday, Bound for Glory. I will be there live. If you guys see me and you're there, come say hello. Um, but yeah, so I will catch you guys tomorrow for another edition of the Impact Report. And then Monday, I will have my Bound for Glory review. So thanks for checking out my video. And until next time, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks, guys. Bye.